ओके वेरी मच अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रिकल वर्कशॉप नाउ वी आर इन द थर्ड एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट इज टू वे वायरिंग एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल स्विचेस आर टाइप्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल स्विचेस वी आर इन द थर्ड एक्सपेरिमेंट सो इन दिस वी हैव टू पार्ट्स ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेशन वन इज टू वे वायरिंग वेयर वी डू द सम प्रैक्टिकल सेशन दैट इज हाउ टू कनेक्ट ए टू स्विचेस वन लैंप circuit and we have some types of electrical switches first we will study that one theory part then we will go to the practical session now if we come to the practical part before that theory let's do what we have in the theory so in the theory the electrical wiring refers to a conductor which is used to carry electricity and its accessories the electrical wiring uses color coding to prevent from wiring errors what it means uh, in previous uh, class in wire joints uh, soldering and uh, cable preparation what we finished is about the different types of material for conductor insulator and semiconductor okay now again then uh, we studied uh, in the class about the wire what do you mean by the wire what is meaning by the cable what it needs so here wiring we will study the next part that is wiring the electrical wiring refers to a conductor which is used to carry electricity and its accessories now for a simple example you can say for a lamp what we need we need power supply of 220 volts if it is a 220 volts lamp is there 100 watts or 60 watts or whatever lamp power we can use uh, we can utilize the lamp 60 watts or 100 watts up to you so for that lamp to be illuminated we need power of the same specification of the lamp like if the lamp have specification of 60 watts and 220 volts ac we have ac and dc discrimination here so if we are selling that incandescent lamp which he supports 220 volts and 60 watts means we need ac supply of 220 volts 60 watts what well, power okay it, it based upon the load the power it will draw from the supply so we need it to 20 volts so in the circuit what we need we need phase wire a neutral wire and a switch for switching on and off and power connection phase and neutral is given to the uh, supply from where we will get the 220 volts ac supply so in this process what it shows is the electrical wiring the two wires phase and neutral the two wires what it is showing refers to a conductor means phase and neutral these are the conductors it's a wire but basically inside a wire it is a conductor to carry electricity means current when it is connected to the supply and switch is on when it is bulb is illuminated the current is flown through the complete closed path that is a circuit and its accessories accessories what do you mean by accessories means what are the accessories there switch Uh, lamp power supply these are the accessories so there is a wiring this call that is complete uh, circuit is called wiring now what is the second part here electrical wiring uses color coding to prevent from wiring errors color coding now if you take uh, phase and neutral for a simple lamp circuit okay it is phase and neutral two wires are there we can identify one will be the phase one will be the neutral now for the power circuits generally it will have three wires power circuit in lecture one we already studied what is the power cable power cable means we have phase neutral and ground three wires will be there so in this three wires when it is running on a conduit concealed wiring or open wiring whatever it may be, when it is running on continuous manner from one point to other point how can we identify that which is the phase which is the neutral and which is the ground so to avoid that errors to eliminate we use color coding generally for phase we use red color of the wire silk red color of the wire the phase wire now for neutral we can use yellow or blue it's up to you and for ground we can use black or you can use green but for the new phase we have red color it can be identified Well, once you, you design a circuit, you must note down the uh, color coding on a piece of paper or for the household wiring. You have to uh, in a sketch of the electrical wiring. We have to mention in the uh, title box in the down 
where the electrical wiring chart is there, which wire color is used for what, like phase wire red and uh, blue wire for neutral and green wire generally for the earth. So that's why we say electrical wiring uses color coding to prevent from wiring errors. Now a switch is a two state device which is either completely on or completely off. It's very important. A switch is a two state device which either completely on or completely off. What it means? So a switch, switch is nothing but a, a on off circuit we can say. On off switch like this it will be there. If, it, if there is a connection it is on we call. When, when there is a con no connection then it is called off, open we can say open or off same. When there is a touch or connection is there it is called on. So a switch is a two state means two operations we can make a two operation 0 1 what we call first operation is 0 second operation is 1 in digital logic digital circuits here also two state two operations you can make with simple switch whether on one operation or the off this is second operation so this is switch a switch is a two state device which is either completely on and completely off now when it is on state there is a flow of current and when is when it is off state there is no flow of current that's obvious when there is a connection that is on state then the circuit is closed and current will pass when there is an off state there is no current flow because the circuit is open now voltage difference will be there but current flow is zero because it is an open circuit now coming to such simple switches that's a simple switch what we discussed now we have six uh, different electrical switches which are very important in uh, electrical studies many switches are there but here we will study only the important six switches those are SPST, SPDT, DPST, DPDT and TPST and TPDT so one by one we will study and I will show you how to remember this easily now first one SPST single pole single throw now see the here diagram how it is it is a simple switch just on and off how many poles it is having two poles but how many uh, sorry how many poles it is having single pole single pole means is how many connection options only one connection option is there now single throw now when it is closed current will be flow when it is off no current so how many currents are flowing in complete set only one one direction of current is flowing so it is called single throw means only one side of the connection is possible means on or off on one side of the current is flowing no other side of the or other part of the circuit current so that is single pole means only one switch with one on off option that is single pole single throw with this name itself other names are coming SPDT single pole double throw same single pole means only one switch but double throw means it has three connections so that it can be closed on one circuit and closed on the other circuit what is the other one circuit it is left side of the circuit and when it is closed on the right of the circuit the first one there is no option only option is close or open open or close but here there is a option close on the left side or close on the right side oh, another option is there do not close on any either side do not close either side that is in the air that is in the middle if it is in the middle there is no connection to the left side or right side so here if it is close left side the current will flow from this P to the left side now if it is close on the right side the current will flow from center P to the right side P so how many sets of current are flowing here in complete operation 2 so that's why it is called double throw double throw means left side and right side double throw two sides operations are possible now same thing if you take first switch and now this third switch DPST double pole single throw double pole single throw here single throw means here only one switch one operation you can say on or off same same here also single throw one switch one operation but here the problem is double pole two switches but one operation 
two switches, double pole, single throw. Two switches are there, P phase and neutral, and one operation. That is, if it is on, the current will be there flow on the closed circuit, and if it is off, the circuit will be open. There won't be any current. There won't, there is no possibility of two circuits here, left side one circuit, right side one circuit. Only on-off possibility is there. Generally, this switch is also called as two-pole isolator. Two-pole isolator. In our household purposes, we use these isolators from panel board. The panel board we have isolators. Phase and neutral will come from the power supply from the outside, uh, from the uh, supply uh, persons like uh, Saudi Electricity Company or any other company. It comes phase and neutral. It will give into the isolator that is double pole single throw. Now output is say phase and neutral. It is given to the household uh, wiring and it can be controlled with one operation. On means the complete circuit is on. Off means the complete circuit is off. It is isolated from the supply. That's all. This is double pole single throw. Now coming to the next. Same same double pole with two poles but two directions. That is called double pole double throw. See here double pole double throw. Double pole and double throw. So here previously it was having only four wires. One is phase neutral on the left side, phase neutral on the right side. There is a connection option on and off. But here we have six wires. Phase neutral on the left side, phase neutral on the right side. In the center, another phase neutral is there where it is act as an input to the switch. Now, output will be the left side or right side. Left side are the out, right side are, are the outputs. Now, if it is closed together, if it is closed together, left side, it is left side circuit will be activated. It, when it is closed. On the right side together, then right side circuit will be activated. Now, this is called double pole, means two switches together. And double throw, means two operations we can make. That is left side circuit on or right side circuit on. That is, no, 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 where we use application. This is also one type of isolator only. But if you take generally, we, we use with a backup system. Now, in your ho house, we have a one... Uh, generator, let us take one generator is there. Nowadays, inverters are there, no problem. But if we have a backup generator and we have uh, main supply from the uh, company, from the electricity company, and that is given on the left side, let us take if main company, uh, electricity company, we are getting the 220 volt supply, then we will give on the left side, and a generator supply phase and neutral is given to the right side. Now, this Center points, phase and neutral, is given to the our household wiring output, where all connections are given to the house. Now, every time when there is a shortage of power supply from the company, we use generators. So when we are on in the generators, what we have to do in general case, we have to remove the company, so electricity company connection, phase and neutral, and we have to connect the generator supply so that it will not short the if the um, uh, power supply again switching on from the company without knowledge. So that's why we have to remove the original connections from the company and we have to keep the generator connection. So this will take time process and every time uh, a manual uh, connections we have to make. So to avoid that, this switch is very very useful for that. And where left side we connect, let us take for the company electricity company and the right side generator. Now generally and the center is for the our household supply. So in general without any power shortage or power cut we use the switch on the left side so that the power from the south electricity will come from the left side to the house in the center and it will go to the household. Now when power supply is cut from the electricity company then we open the switch and we connect or we Move the switch on the right side and connect to the right side terminals, phase and neutral. So these phase and neutral right side terminals are connected to generator. So when the generator is on, it's directly the supply is goes to the household. So without any manual repair, or manual connection, manual interruption. Okay. This is the advantage of the double pole, double throw switch. Now same process, triple pole single throw and triple pole double throw. Now this what I mentioned about two switches, phase and neutral. 
right phase and neutral is for small house now we have big apartment and uh, many apartments in building and we have three phase supply three phase supply we have r y b three phase supply each phase is 440 volts phase to phase voltage is 440 phase to neutral it is 220 volts phase to phase 440 volts now then we have three connection three poles one two three r y b now these three together we have to switch on or switch off so that's why it is called triple pole three poles are there three lines and single throw only switch on and switch off only one operation on or off either or okay that's why this also called a isolator but triple pole isolator the previous one it is double pole isolator where we use for the household small house uh, single phase supply now this is called three phase supply triple pole isolator same thing if we go to the triple pole double throw triple pole double throw now in this triple pole uh, double throw we have check it here we have RYB on the left side, RYB on the right side, same as the triple pole single throw and on the center another RYB is there where which will this RYB will either act as an input or output, it's up to you. Now if it is acting as an output, left side will be the one connection from the Saudi Electricity Company and right side may be the from the generator, other source of the supply. Now if we connect from the switch to the left it is taken from the left side supply one operation when it is connected to the right it will taken from the generator or other source of the supply this is second operation so we have double operation that's why it is called double throw okay double operations we have left side or right side so this is your six types of switches so how to remember it's very easy uh, triple tpdt triple pole double throw TPST triple pole single throw so the names are very simple and the symbols are so very easy how we are using it okay now we will go to the practical section uh, theory part that is two way wiring now two way wiring yeah so two way wiring to set up two way wiring using given lamp controlled by switches and demonstrate different types of electrical switches. Now, coming to the two-way wiring, what are the equipments required? See here, single pole, sing, double throw, see, here we are not using simple switch, we are using a special switch that is single pole double throw. So, what is the single pole double throw will do? It will have on the circuit on the left side or on the circuit on the right side, means two circuits you can connect to this switch and either or can be on that is left side circuit can be on or one part of the circuit can be on or another part of the circuit can be on two operations we can make here that's why double throw so what is the reading switch ready 5 amperes simple switch how many we need two now bulb we call in a scientific language this bulb name is incandescent lamp so there is a tungsten filament inside the lamp i will show it This is the incandescent lamp, different bulbs are there, but here I am using this one. This is called different lamp. This is inside there is a tungsten filament is there, tungsten filament inside. So that's why it is called incandescent lamp. This lamp name, scientific name is incandescent lamp. We remember, always engineers should remember with scientific names, not uh, general names. So how much is the wattage? 60 watts. So I can mention here voltage also, but here so the electricity company will give 220 volts only normally. So I didn't mention here what is the voltage. Generally, any device, any uh, item in the electrical, we have to mention minimum two things. One is voltage, one is power, or current or power, or voltage, current. Either two items minimum required two items three are there voltage current and power but two items it is described on the device the third one we can calculate as usual that's the logic here so here 60 watts 220 volts now bulb holder we need a pvc bulb holder uh, where this is the bulb holder we can say 
this is the bulb holder we have different uh, models of bulb holder inclined and uh, surface many button type many are there so like this we can connect the lamp and two phase and neutral connections are there back side you can see it any one you can use because this is ac supply you can change the terminal say phase to neutral neutral to phase no problem but dc you must connect plus to plus minus to minus now when you coming to the three phase in ac okay then problem will come you have to use ryb red yellow blue must be connected in a proper way otherwise the synchronization will lapse and the circuit may be shorted so be careful that much part we are not discussing here only phase neutral single phase we are discussing for ac single phase the phase neutral terminals for a different device like lamp uh, iron box anything small devices anything you can interchange no problem but for dc we have to be careful plus terminal has to be connected to the plus and minus terminal has to connect to the minus okay so just wait okay sorry for interruption now so these many equipments we need that is yeah a single pole double throw switch two and incandescent lamp one bulb holder one connecting wires so to connect phase neutral supplies or in between connections we need some connecting wires few we are telling that's uh, gauge of the connecting wire is 2.5 mm the size okay now coming to the circuit how it is there you can go to the circuit first yeah this is your circuit you can see it here clearly it is mentioned yeah so this is the circuit diagram where two switches are there that is switch a spdt a switch b spdt b and the switch name is two way switch not the simple switch now a bulb with an holder holder it is not uh, uh, showing here but it is connected to a holder only without that it cannot fit so this is a power supply 220 volts supply phase and neutral neutral is, is given directly to the lamp and phase of the bulb is coming through the switches in general for simple on off uh, circuit of a lamp we have one switch in the phase line which can be controlled on and off that's it now here for two way wiring we have two different switches that is switch a switch b of same uh, type two way switch that is now in this switch what i told you we have three connections this two way wiring two way switch we have three connections one is left side phase and right side phase and one is center so three wires it will have see here one wire this is center wire and this is left side and this is right side but it's showing like this no problem top and bottom we can say here this is also top and bottom on the center you can say now what is the operating principle connections once again i will tell first switch take see here the two connections the two uh, points l1 l2 it's already mentioned in the switch we can see l1 and l2 on each switch and another will be the empty one which can be used as a phase no problem so this l1 of first switch is connected to the l1 of the second switch directly no interconnection l1 is not connected to l2 or l2 is not connected to l1 so be careful otherwise the logic will different the circuit will operate but the logic we on which fashion we are want to work that will be opposite so l1 connection has to be connected to l1 and l2 connection has to be given to l2 that's why i am using here color codes of different wires so this wire l1 to l1 i use black and l2 to l2 blue you can interchange no problem the wires you can use L1 to L1 blue or L2 to L2 black up to you no problem any color but connection must be from L1 to L1 L2 to L2 now the incoming of the first switch should be from the phase of the supply from the service electricity board now the outgoing of the switch 2 should be given to the lab outgoing of the switch the remaining two connections are directly shorted L1 to L1 L2 to L2 two wires to be connected 
So here yeah, the second switch output we call, the first switch input we call. The input is given of the first switch is to from the supply. Now the output of the second switch is given to the LAN. The output of the LAN will be directly to the neutral to the supply. Okay, these are the connections. Now when you see the diagram, we have uh, four operations here. So those four options are the switch 1 will be on and off, switch 2 will be on and off. Generally we can say on on left side, on on right side, there is no on and off. There will be on and left side, on and right side. But here we will think in a digital uh, way, that is switch 1 up position when here the arrow is showing, here also the arrow is showing. When the arrow is connected to the, on the L1 side, L1 then we will say it is 0, that is 0, offside. Now the, this arrow connection is connected to the L2, then we will call it is 1. Same same here the arrow is connected to the L1 for second switch, then it is called 0. Then arrow is connected to the second connection L2, then this is called 1. So how many operations we have? 4, that is 0, 1, 0, 1. So combinedly when you form a table, input operations are 4 that is first switch 0 second switch 0 second operation first switch 1 second switch 1 the third operation first switch 0 second switch 1 fourth operation first switch 1 second switch 0 or I can say 1 1 0 sorry 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 general table will be like that in digital circuits that is how the operation is goes on. So 0, 0 means these two arrows are connected here L1, L1. Now 0, 1. L1 and this arrow is connected to the L2, L1 and L2. Now so the third operation L2, first switch L2 and second switch L1, that is 1, 0. Now fourth operation L2, L2, the arrow is connected to the L2 here, this arrow is connected to the L2 here, 1, 1. So these are the four operations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1. Now what is the output? Output is always here in the lamp bulb we can say incandescent lamp. So what is the output? If it is lamp glows illuminated then it is called 1 that is on. The lamp is on is 1 we can take in digital circuit. Now when a lamp is off there is no illumination the light is not glowed not glowing then it is 0 we can say so we have output only 2 that is 0 or 1 lamp on lamp off so see uh, quickly here now when it is 0 and 0 that is the arrow is connected to the L1 this arrow is connected to the L1 the switch is in up position 0 0 is there a circuit uh, completion is there the current will go to the L1 and again this L1 and go to the P and go to the lamp and come back from the N and go to the supply to N. So there is a closed circuit here. So when there is a closed circuit the current will flow and lamp will glow. So what is the operation? 0, 0 means the output is 1. Now opposite will th think and again we will go to the next one. Now opposite when this arrow is connected to the L2 and switch to arrow is connected to the L2. So it is 1 and 1. Now the current will go to the L2, again it will travel to the L2 because already it is connected to the L2 and it will go to the P and go to the LAN and come back from the N to the supply end M. There also a closed circuit formation. So the lamp will glow. So for 1, 1 operation of the switch, the output is 1. So for 0, 0, the output is 1. For 1, 1, the output is 1. Now in between we will see what are the other two operations. The second, the other operation 0, 1 will check. 0 means here the switch is connected to the L1 and on the B switch is connected to the L2, 0, 1. So what happens? There is a gap. There is no continuation path. See when the current tries to come to the L1 and it will come to here and it will stop. There is an open circuit. Right? So there is a open circuit here because this arrow is connected to the L2. There is no continuation for the current. So there is output will be 0. There will, lamp will not glow. So for 0, 1, the output is 0. Opposite. Now when the arrow is connected to the L2 and 
this I have expanded to the L1. So what is the, that condition? This is 1 and this is 0. So the current will try to come here L2 because already connected in one position, there is L2 and it will stop here because there is no connection here. Here also there is circuit is called open. There is no connection complete of the circuit. So the output is 0, the lamp will not glow. So for the 1, 0, output is 0. For 0, 1, output is 0. So which type of logic gate we are generally use? XNOR. XNOR logic gate has the same uh, results. That is 1, 1, the output is 1. 0, 0, the output is 1. 0, 1, the output is 0. 1, 0, the output is 0. So this are the four results of two-way wiring. Generally uh, coming to the application where two-way wiring is used. Two-way wiring is generally used in bathrooms, in bedrooms, generally small staircase, one floor staircase we can say. Because uh, when we see bedrooms, if it is uh, big hall, big bedrooms are there, let us say, one switchboard will be, will be at the entrance of the room that is beside the door we can say one switchboard will be there another switchboard will be there beside the bed where we sleep now let us take when we walk into the bedroom we will switch on the fan or light you can connect here lamp or instead of lamp we can connect fan or any any device you can connect the circuit is same uh, operation is same now when you walk into the bedroom you will switch on light or fan from the entrance now after you relax and you go to the bed and then you feel that you have to switch off the lamp fan okay generally we'll make it on because we need comfort we have the fan must be on now light we have to be closed okay so for that what we have to struggle we have to go back to the main door that is the entrance where the switchboard is there again we have to switch off now so if we have a facility that one facility that beside a bedroom bed another switchboard is there which can control the same light which we want to control from entrance entrance of the bed so it is easy just you just switch off from your bed the same light will be closed okay so again you go when you wake up you can open or close from bed and we are getting out from the room you can close and on from the beside the door the another switchboard so we have two different switchboards where we can control one device so this is the logic or this is the application we can say where we are using this one so this used two way wiring two way means two ways we can operate the same device that is from one point to other point in staircase also when you are moving up in the staircase we can switch on the light and we just move up to the first floor then we can switch off the light from there other no need of coming back and switch off the light and in the dark you cannot move out move out so this is the application now in the washrooms or bathrooms we can say when you are entering from in before entering to the bathroom we can switch on from the outside and we are coming out from the bathroom we can switch off from the inside of the bathroom so these are the three applications i am telling that is in bed in bathroom and in staircase we can use small staircase we can say otherwise for big staircases and uh, big uh, halls we have separate wiring that is called go down or staircase wiring that is separate this is for simple staircase i am telling okay we will go to the practical session how we can connect uh, the lamp and how we will operate different switches and how the electrical wires are to be inserted okay thank you Okay, as I mentioned, here are the two-way wiring board is there, uh, you can say kit, you can say, I prepared this, where we have three different parts, one is two switches and one lamp. Here, two-way switch, you can say, this two-way switch you can connect here and another two-way switch you can connect here and lamp connections we can have. For that we need a cutting player and, uh, and we need a screwdriver or uh, a yeah, uh, crimping tool we can 
need to remove the insulation of the wire. Now, what are the wires needed? We need how many wires? We need five wires we need. There is per phase supply, that is already in the circuit you can see. That is red and green wire. Red wire for phase and this green wire generally yellow also you can use, but there are many different connections are there, that's why I'm using green as a neutral. It can be the green is directly given to the lamp and red is given to the switch, first switch input and yellow wire is given from the second switch output to the lamp. Now this blue and black wires are given L1, first switch, first point to the second switch, first point. Now blue, the first switch, second point that is L2 to the second switch, second point that is L2. So the steps of connection is always you have to remember is that remember that first you have to make wiring that is you have to first run the wires in a switch boards in a device boards or different setups later we have to connect with switches devices the second step that is first step wiring second step connection to the devices third step testing so these three steps we have to be followed so first step i am doing is i am connecting or running the wires so in this three from back side concealed wiring generally inside the wall but here i am running the wires from the back side of the board so you can say this face wire is given to here I can hold it. Now the neutral is given here in the lamp. Now yellow wire that is from the lamp to the switch 2. We are following the step 1. Switch 2 from the back side. Switch 2. This is switch 1, this is switch 2. Now blue and black together you can run that is in the switch 1 and switch 2. It is here switch one, switch one, two wires from the back side and switch two. So, see the first switch we need three connections, three wires. It is come, it has come right. Second switch we need three connections, three wires. It has come right. So, this three we got, this three we got. Now we got two phase and neutral for the lamp. So. Connections are uh, wiring is finished. Now coming to the connection. Now when you go coming to the connection, we need a screwdriver so that I can connect step by step and uh, we need a lamp holder. This is the lamp holder where two wires can be connected. I told you already to use cutting player to make the wire straight. Make it easy. Just open this. They are also open. Here we have 
three connections that is one on the one side and two connections on the left downside that is L1 L2 is written here you can use these connections L1 and L2 this is L1 and this is L2 you can connect these are the screws where you can lose it and you can put the wire here inside these holes and another hole is here you can open this so quickly I will connect this I told you the yellow wire is connected as an output so we will connect this here better use cutting layer to make the wire now L1, L1 is on the left side you open this L1 if I am using black, other side also you have to use black be careful, the conductor should not be out so that if it touches the second one, second switch, uh, second wire, there will be a deadly short circuit. You must to be aware because there is a less gap here if there is a connection problem. So I connected here. These three connections are finished. Now same another switch. So the red wire, the phase wire I am using for connecting one side of the switch here and L1, L2 as usual black and blue. Now we have to fix this with screws. You can see I have to use screws. So you fix this, take it back side. When you are fixing, check these are two uh, wires are there one side and one side and another uh, one single wire is there. When you are fixing this switch, be careful. The orientation should be same. If the first switch is two wires are down, the second switch also same, two wires are down. See here, two wires are 
down and one more should be up. incandescent lamp. So this incandescent lamp, I will fix it here. Now, what is the positions of 0, 1 and 1, 0? So the up position, let us take these two are the up position, up position. Then it is called 0. When it is down position, I can say it is on, on or 1. If it is down position, this is 1. So what are the four operations we have? We have four operations. I will make it zoom. Okay. Yeah. So if it is up position, it is zero. And if it is down position, it is one and this is one. So four operations will be zero, zero, and zero, one. Second operation. Third operation, one, zero. Fourth operation, one and one. Okay, first we'll start with zero and zero. Just check. We are switching on this main power supply. See? Lamp is on when it is 0 and 0 up position. Now we will go 0 and 1. This is 1 means it should be down. This switch should be down. See, this is off. That is 0 and 1, it is off. And opposite 1 and 0, this is 1 and this is 0. This is down position, this is up position. 1 and 0, again off. Now the fourth and final position is 1 and 1, again on. So this is the logic and this is the principle of operation and this is the result. Again once again I will repeat, 1 and 1 switch is on, 0 and 0 switch is, uh, lamp is on, 0 1 lamp is off, 1 0 lamp is off, 4 operations, 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 So this is your practical output of your two way wiring Okay, thank you for listening